friends, and welcome to Encouragement for Today. Coming from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. And friend, there's just not a better place to find encouragement than in the light of God's holy and precious Word. Let me invite you today to pick up your copy of God's Word. Turn with me, if you will, over to the book of Galatians. Today we'll be in Galatians chapter 6. And I want to look at verse 14 as the text verse of Scripture. Now notice what the Bible says here. But God forbid that I should glory save in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ by whom the world is crucified unto me and I unto the world. And friends, I pray that God would add His wonderful blessings to that precious word today. Uh, today I want to bring to you a thought that I've titled Glory in the Cross. Glory in the Cross. What glory is there in the cross? Have you ever thought about that? Friend, it was an instrument of torture. It was an instrument of shame. And it was an instrument of death. So why did Paul glory in the cross? Well, he gloried in the cross because the most selfless act ever performed by men or angels took place on the cross of Calvary. He saw emanating from that rough, unartistic beam upon which the Son of God had been crucified, the radiant hope of the world and the end of the believer's bondage to sin and the love of God shed abroad in the hearts of men. A lone man dying on a cross did more to restore man's lost harmony with God his fellow man, and himself than the combined genius and power of earth's mighty men. With our infinite limitations, we cannot fully comprehend the mystery of our Lord Jesus' atonement. We only know, listen, we only know that all who come to the cross in simple, trusting faith lose all their guilty stains and find peace with God that passes even our own understanding. So friend, that's why Paul gloried in the cross. And we ought to thank God for the cross of Calvary that atones for our sins. How gracious we should be that God so loved us that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Think about this. Run to the cross. Pray with me. Father, how we thank You for the cross of Calvary, in that You allowed Your only Son to die there for our sins, that we could be redeemed to You. God, I pray for that one who may need this redemption most of all today. That God, you would reach into their lives and change them completely. And Father, I pray you'll do this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, God bless you today, my friend. And before I go, let me remind everyone of the benefit gospel saying that we'll be having tomorrow at Flat Creek Church in Berrien County. We certainly invite you to come and enjoy good gospel singing, new tradition, and the Backwood Boys will be doing the singing, and we'll have a good time of fellowship in the Lord. That starts at 7 o'clock tomorrow evening, Flat Creek Church, and that's on Flat Creek Church Road. So you come 
and be a part of that as we'll worship together. God bless you again. Have a wonderful day.